Good evening, my fellow scientists. It is Tuesday, October 31st, 2017. Happy Halloween. Let's talk about iron batteries. <laughs> We've got choline, chloride, and urea mixed together to form a deep eutectic solvent, which I think is just the coolest thing. Let me show you the structures. This is choline chloride, and this is urea, and when you mix these two solids, they melt at room temperature to form a really weird liquid that is not aqueous or oily. It's kind of like an ionic liquid in that it is just a really highly ionic substance that is nonetheless fluid. And iron chloride does dissolve in it. If you dissolve, dissolve iron chloride in that really weird solvent system, it looks like this. And if you put it on a three electrode tester to find out whether this thing is oxidizable and reducible the way I'd expect iron two to be, it does the weirdest thing. Check this out. It just suddenly turns all gray. Is that iron being plated on that carbon electrode? I think it might be, but the formation of that surface made the whole system so weird that I wasn't able to get any measurements, but I'd love to explore that further. I need a better electrode system than this little screen printed electrode. It's just not quite adequate to my needs. What I'd really like is to have a big piece of silver for the silver chloride count uh, reference electrode and then a bigger piece of carbon for the counter electrode. If that's all very confusing, let me show you about the three electrode system. What you got here is essentially a silver silver chloride half cell that you're using as one half of the battery and then the iron reduction and oxidation on the other side of the battery. And then there's a little reference uh, as the silver, silver chloride. And then you've got your counter electrodes so that you can pump tons of current into the system and not uh, disturb your silver silver chloride electrode. So it's a really neat system. If you're not super familiar with electrochemistry, this is sort of third semester chemistry stuff, but I would like to keep testing the deep eutectic solvent because it doesn't have any water. It doesn't have any hydrogen. It doesn't have anything to react when we put a charge across it. The problem with using water with iron chloride is that if you go acidic, you risk generating hydrogen because the iron itself will start to react with the acid to produce hydrogen gas. If you go too basic, the iron chloride precipitates and the whole thing stops working. I might be able to find balance or at least an optimum, but it's probably gonna slowly evolve hydrogen gas whether you like it or not. So moving to a deep eutectic solvent, which is fairly cheap and really cool uh, would maybe solve that problem. So I'd like to explore that further. If you find this sort of crazy science interesting, do tune in Monday through Friday. We talk about iron and batteries and results from the Allen Lab. And we're trying to raise some money to support an undergraduate to do this research. So if you like that, think about hitting that link down below, liking, subscribing, sharing with your friends, help us find some people who'd love to support undergraduate science education in Idaho, as well as develop an all iron battery to store renewable energy. Thank you very much. And do please check out that link. We will see you tomorrow.